So my point is, when we started in ACN, just to give you some more background and history on us, uh, you know, in that beginning stages, we had no upline. There was nobody there for us to come and do a home meeting, to do a PBR. We had no weekly meeting in place. We had no Saturday training. We had no conference calls to plug into. We lived in a small city of about 250,000 people on an island. We had no major services. We were only marketing standalone long distance. We had no experience whatsoever, but we also had no experience excuses. I'm going to be going through a topic today called getting started and launching your business and I want you to know I was never launched. So that means that if I can make it here with the last 11 years of experience there's really no excuses. All of you ultimately your success is going to be up to who? Yeah, ultimately it's gonna be up to you. So I want you to know no matter what happens during your launch or your start, whether you get off to a great start or not, ultimately your success will be up to you. So let's dive into this training, shall we? So a couple things I'm gonna cover during this getting started training. Number one, I'm gonna talk about the responsibilities that you have when launching a new IBO, the goals that you want to achieve during the launch, and third, also the launch process itself. So let's talk about the responsibilities. So listen, the moment a new IBO enters your business, a lot of responsibility falls on your shoulders as the sponsor or the upline coach. You wanna help them get off to a fast start. You wanna help them move quickly. Their journey is just beginning. And whose responsibility is it to launch that brand new IBO? It's everyone's responsibility. It's all of our responsibilities to get in there in the trenches with our people and help them get off to a successful start. But ultimately, their success is going to be up to them, but it's your job to get in there and guide them and give them support the exact opposite that I had when I started in ACN back in the Ice Age. Now, your intention, your intention when launching a brand new IBO is to launch them into immediate action and give them quick success. And I want, to write, I want you guys to write this down. The definition of quick success. The definition of quick success being anything that shows up on your downline report. Customers or IBOs. Either one of them is great, but you want to help that new IBO get off to a quick start. And you want to help them create their success story. And I also want you to write this down. Leaders are story creators. Leaders create stories. That's one of their main goals is to get in there. We all know that stories sell and facts tell. When someone joins your team, you wanna jump in there and help them create their quick success. So the entire part of my training today is gonna to revolve around that theme of creating success quickly and helping your new IBO get off to a flying start as quick as possible. So let's talk about some of the goals. Some of the goals that you wanna help them achieve when they're going through this launch or this getting started process. One of them is to help them become a qualified team trainer as quickly as possible. Some of you are able to do that in 24 or 48 hours. Some of you apply the five day rule which is helping 50% or more of your new IBOs get qualified within their first five days. Now that's probably the most important point of a launch. When you're helping someone get started, if everything goes sideways, but you can help them get qualified right away during that launch, who agrees that's still a very successful launch? Right? So that's gonna be one of your primary goals. When I'm launching somebody new, if things kind of go sideways, if I can at least help them get qualified and I don't have perhaps the time to do the rest of the launch, I'll simply book another time, perhaps the next day, to finish the rest of the launch. You also wanna book their PBR, which is their private business reception or their grand opening date, typically within four or five days of getting started. You wanna book that. You also wanna role play, and if you wanna write something down, make calls together. Why is it important to sit with them and help them make their initial call and text invites? Who agrees, if you're brand new, could you be a little bit scared to pick up that 300 pound phone? 
Yes, I know that feeling. I've been there before where I was scared myself starting an ACN. So if you can help them make their initial calls, if they do run across the odd rotten apple, at least you can be there to kind of pick them back up and guide them through the process. So those are gonna be your three major goals. You also wanna write this down. You've gotta keep it simple. When getting started in ACN, you've got to keep the business simple. You wanna lead with vision and inspiration, not facts and information, okay? You wanna be excited with people. You wanna help them get to a good start by leading them through vision and inspiring them to take action. They don't need to learn everything. Who here agrees that an IBO only needs to know what they need to do next? Right? You don't need to teach them the second override of senior vice president. The launch itself should take around an hour to an hour and a half, you know, not three or four hours, because confused people do what? Nothing. Nothing. You want this person thinking simple. All I need to do is get some people in front of Craig, and I'm going to get off to a great start. Okay? Also, you want to write one race this down. They've got to have fun. You've got to have fun. Is ACN a fun business? Man, ACN is hilarious, hilarious. The longer you're in ACN, the more entertaining it actually becomes. I could tell you guys stories for days of some of the people that I've met. It's absolutely hilarious. You've got to have fun building your ACN business. And I want you to write this down. You've got to build rapport. When you're launching someone, it's an enrollment process. It's not a one-time event. Okay, I wanna explain that to you. Some people will come up to me and say, Craig, I've launched my new IBO. I said, okay, that's great. And then I'll talk to him and say, hey, how are you making out with Bob? He said, oh, I already launched him last week. It's not a one-time event. A launch is an enrollment process. You know, I just launched a new IBO on my TC Open Line group uh, back in Alberta, Canada. And I was able, in her first week, to meet her three times just to help her, just to get off to a good start. I wanted to be there holding her hand step-by-step step through the process. Part of that is building rapport and trust with the person that you're launching. And by the way, not just during a launch, but even during a presentation. How many of you guys understand that if someone likes you and trusts you, they're more likely to open their contact list to you? And what's the greatest asset a new IBO brings you? Their warm market list. When you're sitting across from someone, whether it's at a home meeting or whether it's during a launch, they're asking themselves, you want, you want, this is gold, they're asking themselves, do I trust and do I like Craig? Do I see myself putting him in front of my friends and my family? And if they like you and trust you, they're gonna want to introduce you to their contacts. And that's my goal. My goal is just to get me in front of their contacts and help them get off to a successful start. So you've gotta remember, you've gotta have fun, and you've gotta be able to build rapport with your new IBO. Don't make it too stressful. Relax, have the Canadian attitude, just enjoy it. I know Aussies are similar to Canadians. So finally, you wanna actually go through the launch process. Now, when you're going through this launch process, some of you guys have a checklist or a launch document that you follow, which is great. You wanna follow that strictly. You wanna identify their reason why. You wanna follow the launch document itself. And you also wanna set their expectations as to what's gonna happen uh, during their initial phases of the launch. So one of the ways to do that is establish the reason why. We all have different reasons that we do ACN. Uh, for me, when I started back in the, uh, the day as a teenager, I was definitely money motivated. Motiv motivated. You know, today I'm more freedom motivated. You'll see a picture there uh, of my lovely fiance, Lindsay, and also our dog, that's Romy, the, uh, the queen of the house. You know a funny story? Yeah, I used to be able to go away for months on end, traveling, no problem, no big deal. Now I go away for three days, and I've got to FaceTime my dog, I miss her. So I must be getting, I must be getting old and soft. But you want to understand that you want to identify the reason that you're doing ACN. You want to establish that reason why with your new IBO to anchor them in the business. Because what's going to inspire someone to book a home meeting, to get qualified, to get off to a fast start? Their why, their reason why that they're doing ACN. If you would have told me 11 years ago that I could have complete freedom, pick and choose where I work, where I travel, who I spend time with, I would have run through a brick wall to achieve that. You've gotta lead with vision and inspiration. That's when it's gonna get people fired up. And here's what I wanna do. I want you guys to hear from somebody uh, who is brand new. This person got off to a phenomenal start. They followed the launch and the getting starts, started process um, absolutely perfectly. So if you guys could please welcome to the front, executive team leader from Wellington, New Zealand, Mr. Gurpal Singh. Welcome to my 
So, Drew Paul's just going to share with us for a minute or so uh, what he does for a living, the reason why you're doing ACM, and also let everybody know how you got off to a successful start. Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Gurpal Singh. Uh, I'm from Wellington, New Zealand. Uh, I'm so excited to be here, my first international event. Uh, I want to share my quick story. Uh, I realized in my life very early on, profits are better than salaries. If you want to be successful in life, you need to get involved in a business. So I got involved in a couple of traditional businesses. After five, six years, I found out I have created a prison for myself. I can't uh, spend time with my family. I am very stressful. So I was looking desperately for an opportunity. Came to know about ACN through a friend, got involved, got a very good success, quick success actually. Became ETT in two weeks, ETL in uh, 40 days, and got 100 customer points in 53 days. And. Uh, <laughs> And the re I, I want to explain like how I got this quick success is uh, to follow the system, follow uh, the upline, uh, always attend the weekly meeting, and never miss the uh, training, which is I think Saturday Saturday training. Thank you very much. So hang on, hang on. Let me let me just clarify this. So you got qualified quickly. Yes. You became an executive team trainer by having a home meeting, right? Yeah. By having a home meeting, he was set up for success. He was able to achieve ETT and ETL quickly. Yes. And the exclamation point on his launch, his enrollment process is today. He has been officially launched today by attending this event. It's an enrollment process. Uh, let's give him a big round of applause. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. All right, so we've established our reason why, our motivation. Now, the actual launch process itself, um, you want to follow your checklist, your launch doc. You want to make sure that you get accredited for the energy, uh, the Vodafone accreditation trainings. You want to sign up your own services. Is it crucial that they become their own customer? Yes, 100% on every service that you can. Um, you want to teach the compensation plan and also the quick start bonus. And I want to take a second about this. When I'm launching somebody brand new, um, I want to make sure it's crystal cr clear to them on how to achieve executive team trainer and executive team leader. I want to explain to them that, listen, Gurpal, our goal is to sprint to ETT. We want to be the Usain Bolt of ACN and sprint to ETT, sprint to ETL, then you can walk, then you can crawl, then you can scoot, then you can boogie the rest of the way. Okay? So if somebody leaves their launch training not knowing how to become an executive team trainer or an executive team leader, that's not a good thing. I have him repeat it back to me. In fact, when Gurpal got started, you know, I was on the phone with him talking to him. I also talked to his upline coach and I said, look, we need to get in there and help him get quick success because for the next decades and decades to come, as he builds his ACN business, he's going to be able to share with folks uh, his success story. So make sure that you teach them the comp plan and also explain the quick start bonus or as Mr. Kupis calls it the oh by the way bonus you want to book their home meetings you want to role play and you also I'm gonna give you an SVP tip right now you want to book their calendar for their first week who here when you're launching a new IBO has ever experienced some kind of resistance whether it's launching them with their home meeting or helping them get qualified who's experienced some resistance I'm gonna give you a tip to get around resistance one of the best things that you can do if you ever experience any type of resistance is make sure that they attend some events so if I'm experiencing resistance in a, a launch, what I'll do is I'll make sure that they attend their next Saturday training. In fact, I'll tell them, hey, look, Bob, you know nothing in ACN is mandatory, but if I could make something mandatory, I'd want you to attend this Saturday's training. And by them coming out to the next BOM or the next Saturday training, I know their belief level is going to go way up, and I can always relaunch them afterwards. But if you ever experience some resistance, I want to make sure that you get your new people to attend their Saturday training, their first Saturday training training the next one because to them man that's like a, that's like an international training event okay and I also want you to write this down little victories little victories leaders make big deals out of small things when someone's getting started on your team your goal is to set them up for success some of us just need to spend more time helping our team get little victories now also you're gonna to want to set their expectations. Let them know there's gonna be a learning curve. So I want you to write down the word patience. You gotta have patience with your ACN business. Did I have any patience when I started as a teenager? No, do any teenagers have patience? 
No, man, I want to be an SVP within 12 months. That did not happen. I'm still working on it, right? But there's going to be a learning curve. If you've never skated on ice before, it's going to take time to learn. Also realize there's going to be an emotional roller coaster. We talk about this every Saturday. There's going to be good days, bad days, great days, not so great days. Here's what champions do in network marketing. They stay flatlined. See, they don't get really emotional or excited when someone joins their team, and they don't get really down on themselves when someone does. I'm going to, I'm going to give you an example of that. So when I started in ACM, I was beyond excited. In fact, for my first seven days, I lost sleep. Who here has ever lost sleep because of ACN? Right now, that is the leading cause of insomnia in the Melbourne area, okay? I was extremely excited. I was at the top of the emotional roller coaster. I knew what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. So I made a list. I started inviting people. One of the first guys that I actually invited out to a small event that we held was a guy named Mark. I invited him out to a meeting. He attended the event. He was excited. I could see his body language was great. And at the end of the meeting, he walked right up to me and said, Craig, I love you. I love ACN. I'm in. We're going to kill this together. You're so lucky you found me. <laughs> Who would be excited if Mark walked up to you and said that to you, right? I said, wow, my first IBO, right? I was really excited. So I said, hey, no problem. He said, what do I have to do next? I said, well, hey, let's get you set up right now. We got them all signed up back in the day. And uh, I said, hey, start making your list and we'll get going. So the next day, Thursday morning, I get a phone call at about 8 a.m. from Mark. And I said to myself, wow, he must be excited. It's 8 a.m., my first IBO is calling. He's got to be fired up. So I answer the phone. I say, hey, Mark, how you doing? He says, not good. He says, I talked to my mom. I knew this ACN thing wouldn't work. I hate you. I hate ACN. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, you just got signed up last night. I said, I think we need to go to a training first. Let's get you to a training, and then you can decide what you want to do. He said, fine. He hung up the phone. He comes out to the Saturday training. I can see him sitting through the training. There's a small group of us. He's got his arms crossed. He's got this negative body language. But at the end of the training, he comes up to me and says, Craig, I love you. I love ACN. I knew this would work. My mom's wrong. He said, what do I have to do next? I said, well, hey, I'm excited for you now, too. We can do this together. Let's start inviting people. He said, okay, I'm going to invite my friend John out. And if John joins the team, me and him, we're going to kill this. This is the guy that you've been looking for. I said, okay, great. Invite him out to an event. So on Wednesday night, he invites out his friend John. John said he was going to be there 100%. The golden handshake, I'll be there. Mark shows up, and he's super excited. You know, he's dressed to the nines. I've never seen the guy wearing a suit ever, but he's all SVP'd out. He's sitting in the front row waiting for his buddy John. You know, at the end of the meeting, there's still no sign of John. Mark comes up, and he says, Craig, you know what? I hate you. I hate ACN. I knew this wouldn't work. John didn't even show up. Out of the corner of my eye, I see this guy walk up. He says, hey, I'm looking for my buddy Mark. I couldn't see him, but I'm really excited about ACN. I want to join the team and rock this thing. Mark overhears this. He turns to me and says, Craig, I love you. I love ACN. <laughs> What's my point? Will there be good days and bad days in ACN? Yes, don't ride the emotional roller coaster. Manage your emotions, and I promise you, you're going to be fine. You also do want to develop the right mental attitude. One of the best ways to do that is become a student. Take time to learn the skills. And I say skills because I believe everything in ACN is a learned skill. You can become great at presenting. You can become great at launching by launching lots of IBOs. You can become a great presenter. It's all a learned skill. You also want to make sure that you have a long-term vision but a short-term memory. What I mean by that is, over the last few years, a lot of people have come up to us and said, you know, you must be so excited about where your business is at. You know, it's really growing. You've got a lot of stuff happening. And I typically have a one-line response like, yes, absolutely, I'm excited. But you know, to be honest, five years ago, I was excited about 2016. I'm fired up today about where Australia is going to be in five years from now. How many lives can we impact five years from now? How big will ACN Australia and New Zealand be five years from now? How many guys are excited about that vision? Yeah. If you're always thinking long term, five or ten years out, how big your team will be, the small ups and downs that you go through on a daily basis won't even affect you. So you want to make sure that you have a long term vision and a short term memory and a long term commitment. By that I mean two to five years. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. So let's say that tonight, after the event, you decide to go out with your team for a bite to eat and perhaps a, you know, perhaps a hot chocolate. Okay? You go out, you sit down, and on the other side of the room you see a lovely creature. You see, man, she's gorgeous. 
is. She's stunning. You walk over, you say hello, you get to know this lovely person, and you know what? You say, I think I'm going to spend some time with her or him. You get to know them. A few months go by. You say, man, I want to spend the rest of my life with this person. You get down on one knee. You do the whole deal like I did, right? And a few months go by. It's the wedding day, right? You're standing across from the person. You know, the person says, and do you, they say, yes, I do. And they turn to you. And you say, sweetheart, I'm going to give this thing everything I've got for the next 90 days. <laughs> How do you think that marriage is going to go? Not very good. See, I understand there is no such thing as a perfect business or a perfect relationship. It takes work. It takes long-term commitment to have success in ACN. You've got to be prepared for issues and challenges. You know, one of the best definitions I ever heard of a great CEO was a great problem solver. You want to know how myself and a lot of the leaders identify up-and-coming leaders in our team? We watch how they react to issues and challenges. See, I love it when someone hits ETT and ETL in their first week or their second week. But you know what I say? I say, let's see what happens when they have their first issue, right? Let's see what happens when they have their first challenge. One of the things I'm the most grateful for that ACN has taught me is it's given me the belief in life that no matter what issue or challenge comes my way inside or outside of ACN, I can solve that issue or that challenge. So who here agrees to be a great problem solver and deal with issues and challenges moving forward? Fantastic. And finally, never quit. You know, in my darkest of deepest days in ACN where I wanted to curl up on the floor and cry, uh, quitting was not an option. I wanted to see this thing through all the way to SVP or I'm going to die trying. Understand this, by all of you being here this weekend, you've learned too much to quit anyways. <laughs> Who's in this thing till SVP? Yeah. So you also want to make sure that your new IBO understands the sorting process. And by the way, this took me years to, to actually understand this. You know, they have that saying, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And I, this took me a long time to understand the sorting process. But when you do, it makes life so much easier. Once I understood that everybody is already a red apple, a green apple, or a brown or rotten apple, it made my life in ACN so much easier. So you want to understand that professional sort and amateur sell. You want to spend 90% of your time looking for and working with the red apple. Someone like my grandmother, some of my friends who became customers right away. Green apples are going to have questions. Some of you have heard of my business partner, Peter Salloway. He's got a master's degree, a PhD. He's a genius outside of ACN. Before ACN, he's the first person in ACN history to take an Excel spreadsheet, crunch every single number. Once he found out that this could be a very viable business, he said, I think this could actually work. I said, we've been telling you that for months, man. He went from a Granny Smith green to today, he's the biggest Macintosh red apple ever, okay? We're also going to have some brown and rotten apples. Now, are these bad people? Somebody said yes. No, they're not bad people. They're good people. They're good people. It's just not the right timing for ACN. And sometimes these could be disguised as our best friends or our family. And you know what? ACN's not a hard business. You know what's hard? Is when your best friend isn't as excited about the opportunity as you are. Okay? And I want you to understand, your goal is just, I'll tell you a funny story. We have one team coordinator on our team. He said his family is so far beyond brown and rotten, they've become fertilizer now to help him grow. <laughs> so spend your time in the right places. Understand that you want to sort, sort, sort. The person who can sort the fastest will make the most money in ACN. And over the years, this is one thing I've tried to master is just sorting, 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 spending one minute with 100 people, not 100 minutes trying to convince someone who's a brown or rotten apple or a green apple to become a Macintosh red apple. Your goal is to sort, not to sell. Understand that some will, some won't. So what? Next, someone's waiting. Somebody out there today could be the next SVP in Australia or New Zealand. And you know what's great? You can either become that person or you can override that next superstar. You've heard the owner say it all the time. The greatest ACN IBO has not even signed up yet in the Asia Pacific. Who would like to override the next SVP? Yeah. Now, I'm going to ask you this question. And I'm going to say it very, very slowly because I want you to hear it. 
How many RVPs have you lost that never made it to ETT? I'm going to explain that to you. How many RVPs have you lost that never made it to ETT? Have you ever had a great potential leader get started in your business, just like a Gurpal Singh, and you didn't get in there in the trenches to set them up for quick success? It's your job to get in there as a leader. If you see someone on your team who's in green on your report, they're just getting started, don't be afraid to jump in there, talk to whoever they're working with, and see if you can assist in helping them get off to a successful start. Because you know what's scary? We have no idea. You have no idea how many RVPs or SVPs you've lost that we weren't able to set them up for quick success. Your job, and I want you to hear this clearly, as a leader is one sole thing. Get your people quick success. Jump in there, teach them the system, hold their hand, and help them get to ETT, and you'll set them up for success. Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah. Fantastic, and finally, I wanna wrap up with this. Make a decision to win. Make a decision to win. This weekend for you can be a deciding factor. This weekend for you can be a filter for you to win big in ACN, but you've got to make a decision to lead. ACN is a business where you can learn the skills. You can become a leader of skill, not just of circumstance, but you've got to make a decision to lead. Five years from now, you're going to either wake up standing in victory or you're going to be knocked out in defeat. I encourage you to go home, lead your market, become the next TC, become the next RVP, become the next XVP, and lead by example. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to lead. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. I look forward to working with you for years to come. Thank you so much.